Massac County girls volleyball team had an impressive postseason run. They reached the Sweet 16 for the first time in program history. Now following IHSA's return to play guidelines, they're able to get out, get some conditioning and get ready for this season. It's really great seeing my friends again and this year we have five seniors who we're going to build a bunch of chemistry with and we have a new setter in the running so we're excited to get that going. We're going to build off of last year's winning season so I'm excited for that. Well I think we have a really good connection with each other and we did so well last year I just really hope to continue it this year. We lost a lot of our key players last year, but we have a really good group of seniors and a lot of good people, incoming freshmen and underclassmen that are willing to step up to the plate and fill in some of those spots along with the five seniors that we have this year. So I think that we should have a really good team and be ready for the fall. Just coming out of the quarantine, you feel that weight of inactivity. And I just think getting back in the gym, I don't think they really have expectations or I just think they're the weight's kind of lifted off their shoulders that now they can get back in the gym and exercise and that there might be a little light at the end of the tunnel as far as getting able to you know compete in their senior year uh, and I also said a lot of them missed out on their their junior season that softball season and just uh, I definitely had a lot of smiles on their faces glancing at the history books it doesn't take long to see the program success over the years I think every team that we've had in the past nine years has hit 30 wins. We've averaged 30 wins over the past decade. So maintaining that level of success for anybody is a little intimidating, but I, I, I don't hear them talk about it. I think they know it, they feel it, but again, they just, they enjoy their relationships and they enjoy uh, just coming together and working hard and, and trying to reach their fullest potential. For the five seniors, a focus will be to preserve the legacy of this strong program. We all have really good chemistry, uh, Cal even said that, uh, but we just have to put it into the other girls, the younger girls. I mean, that's Mass Act Volleyball future. I mean, we just have to keep building them up and keep them strong too. As the five seniors, we're going to have to really work hard to help encourage all of the underclassmen, especially after having this long break of not really bonding together. We're going to have to really come in here and work hard and form those connections right whenever. I mean, we're working on it right now, forming those connections, but whenever they let us finally touch a ball, that's when all of it's really going to start. I have really good teammates and they're really supportive of me and we're all really supportive of each other. So I think when you have younger girls come in, it can be really scary to play with the older girls and I feel like we're all really nice to each other and we're really easy to play with. Despite the history of success here, head coach Zach Miller says winning games isn't the only way to measure the season. I just tell the girls my goal is as a coach, just, I want to see them reach their fullest potential. Uh, if they play to their fullest potential, to the best of their ability on that last day, I'm going to be really happy with wherever they end up. Because again, I enjoy the process. I love practice. I love summertime. I love uh, just watching them age and mature and grow into adults and, and just to watch their journey. And uh, yeah, putting an, an, an end, a finish line on that, I think is unfair. I just want them to reach their fullest potential. Reporting in Massac County, Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports.